The rise of artificial intelligence is happening fast, but some fear the new technology might have more problems than anticipated. CNET senior producer Dan Patterson is in San Francisco meeting with some of the top executives in the field of artificial intelligence. He asked what they think about recent accusations of bias in the technology. Artificial intelligence is rapidly reshaping the world. The technology is used for everything from maps to ad tracking software to self-driving cars and even the automation of agriculture. Many social media firms tout AI technology as a solution to a broad spectrum of problems, like removing propaganda and reducing the spread of hate speech online. But AI can often create more problems than it solves. Training computer systems to understand ethics and ignore human bias has vexed the technology industry. Amazon's AI recruiting tool was scrapped after the technology appeared to reinforce gender bias. Google abruptly dissolved their AI ethics council after employees protested the inclusion of a conservative commentator. Facebook's automated systems were unable to prevent videos of the New Zealand shooting from being viewed thousands of times. Salesforce is a San Francisco-based technology firm that uses AI to help business automate tasks at large scale. I spoke with Kathy Baxter, Salesforce architect for ethical AI practice, about why training AI computer systems to reflect human values is so challenging. All of the decisions that people make uh, as to features to include or not include in a product are based on their own experiences, what they value. And so that gets baked into the product. From an AI perspective, the bias tends to come in through the training data. So if, for example, you are using things like age, race, gender in your model, there could be historical factors that impact how your model is now going to be trained. Many prominent figures in the tech industry have called for federal regulation of AI. So I asked Salesforce chief scientist Richard Socher what a regulation might look like. I do think it makes sense to regulate AI as it applies to genomics uh, as it applies to transportation with transportation authorities not letting any startup just drive their self-driving car along the road without a lot of really hard safety tests. It doesn't make sense to just allow AI to make important life or death decisions in medicine without really carefully vetting, making sure it's not just biased and working for a particular subset of people. AI experts, including Baxter and Socher, agree that artificial intelligence might seem invisible but plays a large role in everyday life. And that role will only increase as software becomes more and more sophisticated. For CBS News in San Francisco, I'm CNET's Dan Patterson.